Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elaine and I'm living with autoimmune disease and today we are on an adventure. I am headed home. Well, we are headed home. David is here with me and if y'all aren't familiar who David is, David is my husband. You've seen him before in videos. But we are headed home. Home for me is the San Francisco Bay Area. See my family for Easter. I'm so excited. I haven't been home in oh, probably like a year and a half which is a long time for me. It's just a quick trip from here in Burbank up to Concord, which is where we fly in. We take a small charter plane, uh, so there's not as many people. Obviously I'm immune compromised, so we still have to think about when we're traveling and the exposure to people, which is why we're still masked for traveling. I'm super excited to bring you all along to my home area and to see my family. So come along on my adventure. Excited? We got to Concord. It is raining. We did take a pit stop to Starbucks. Iced Americano for me. What'd you get? Chai latte. Chai latte for David. But we are on our way and I'm so excited to see my parents and my family. Having crab for dinner. Yum. I started folding our lotto tickets for our plastic eggs. What I do every year is I buy lotto tickets. These are just dollar lotto scratchers. And I fold them up and they go in the eggs. And then I hide them and my family gets to find them. And it's so much fun. I've been doing this for my family for close to 25 to 30 years. I started this, I think I was in high school. Our family has since grown and it's just a really fun tradition. Do you guys have any traditions that you do for Easter? This is one of ours and the other thing is a peeps cake which i can't wait to show you tomorrow my mom makes like a phenomenal peeps cake each year and each year it gets better and better so this year the pink easter we did Easter in Discovery Bay, California. It is a beautiful day. No rain today. David? Yes. How'd the egg hunt go? Um, What'd you find? I found one, two, three, four, five eggs. Our Easter celebration is over and the peeps cake is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Two survivors. Two standing. Delicious. Good job, Mom. It's really sunny today. Very. But I'm looking a little rough because we had a good Easter. My grandfather <laughs> was a grape rancher. These are wine grape. This is a toque. The rest of these are not wine grape. They're Thompson Seedless. But my grandfather planted these grapes um, from our family ranch where we had our grape vineyards. And my grandfather came and helped my dad transplant some of these into our backyard so that we have a legacy of our family grape here in the backyard. I love this time of year because they're starting to bud and they'll have fruit in the fall, but they're just so pretty and it's good family memories of our family ranch. These vines are, let's see, we'll ask my mom. How old are these vines? Came from, um branches from the ranch that were over 100 years old. So these are branches from <laughs> vines that are over 100 years old. And uh, they're all Thompson seedless, except for this last one is Toke. And my uh, my grandfather planted a Toke because my mom likes Toke grapes, which are like a red kind of seeded grape. And those are them. Oh, it's a, for a toke wine. So our adventure has come to an end. Well, not quite yet. We have a flight home from Concord to Burbank. And then our quick weekend to the Bay Area to see my family will be over. We had such a good time. I really enjoyed the time with my family. We ate way too much. We had lots of yummy food. I'm gonna go home now 
and get back to work, get back to medical life. What's your favorite part of the weekend? Spending time with my family. Yeah. Well, Elaine's family. It's my family, but <laughs> yours by marriage. Right. We've been married for 18 years. I guess it's your family now. Burbank, thank you so Here much for us. We sincerely appreciate it. to home for us, which is the LA area, Los Angeles. And we got ourselves some Starbucks. We went on a walk. It's really warm here today. It's like 80, 85 degrees. I was looking at David because he was looking at his watch. And I want to give you guys an accurate estimate of what the temperature is, which is a bit of a change from the San Francisco Bay Area. I know I'm looking a little rough, so I wanted to answer some questions because I get a lot of questions about when I travel, if it's tiring, if I have enough energy to do it. Uh, and I think that this can tell you, it is, it is exhausting for me to travel. And obviously I'm sick and obviously I'm on immunosuppressants. But I live my life risk versus benefit. And I always weigh the consequences of my actions and the benefit of my actions. And traveling in this instance was to get home to see my family. And without traveling, I wouldn't be able to see them for holidays. The benefit of traveling to me is worth way more than the risk or the extra energy. And it obviously takes a lot. And I know I haven't always been in the best shape to do it. And there's been times that I've had to cancel. But yes, I I am tired when I travel. It's exhausting. It does take me extra spoons. I probably am going to bump my, my, my prednisone this week to be able to make it through the week. Like I said, I hadn't been home in a year and a half and it was worth every bit of my extra energy and I was so happy to see my mom and dad and my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew and it was just great. One of the questions I get about when we travel is how I protect myself with um, being immune compromised or immune suppressed. And actually both. I'm immune suppressed from the medication I take but I also have an immune compromised state because I have primary immune deficiency as well. I always travel in a mask. Does it work 100% of the time? Sometimes not. But I have traveled in a mask for years. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis nearly 14, 15 years ago. Uh, I can't do the math right now. And the very first thing my rheumatologist told me when I started my immune suppressants, because we used to travel a whole lot before I got sick, was to be sure to mask up on airplanes whenever I flew. So I've been wearing a mask even before the pandemic and I do stay masked when I'm traveling. So that is one thing that I do. Uh, I wipe down tray tables on the plane with, um, I just bring travel Clorox wipes. Actually, I have some, so let I me show these. you. These, these Clorox travel wipes and I keep them in a Ziploc because when you go up into the altitude on the airplane, the sticky part of the Clorox wipes sometimes give way and it can get the inside of your bag or whatever you have them in all kind of yucky. So put them in a Ziploc. I use That's these. how I protect myself in my immune compromised state. It's like I said, it's not 100%. Often it has worked in the past, so each time I, I just do the best I can and that's the way that I try to protect myself. I'm thankful that you all have watched this. I hope it was a little bit entertaining. I try not to film too much at home because it's really more about family time to me. But I wanted to share with you my travel experience and adventure. Like I asked before, if you have any Easter traditions or even holiday traditions, if you don't celebrate Easter and you celebrate Passover or uh, another holiday, I, I'm sorry, I'm not up on all my holidays, but leave me a comment down below and let me know what your traditions for holidays are. Uh, ours is the lottery egg hunt. That is a family tradition for us. If you like this video and you wanna see more travel adventures, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to come along on my adventure, I'd love to have you. The more friends, the more better. So please subscribe. And until my next adventure, go have yours.